Hey, did you, did you come here for Netlink Daily? Did you come here for tech news? You did, didn't you? You did. I see it. I see it in your eyes. Okay, well, okay, we'll do that then. All right, Netlink Daily. <laughs>Question for you, how do you like your NAND flash? I like mine with extra layers. So does SK Hynix, apparently. The mega memory maker announced today they've developed the first 256 gigabit TLC 3D NAND flash chip with 72 layers, allowing up to 32 gigabytes of storage on a single chip. Samsung and Toshiba have been producing 64 layer 3D NAND for a while, but SK Hynix just leapfrogged them, moving from 48 to 72 right away. In addition to the increased capacity, the new chips also read and write 20% faster than their predecessors. It makes you wonder, do we even need 3D XPoint? <laughs> well, I don't know, because neither of these are released yet, so. AMD has done something it only does once in a blue moon, acquired another company. Team Red announced they've bought Natero Wireless VR, a company that specializes in producing 60 gigahertz wireless transceivers, which are very useful for <laughs> You guessed it, wireless VR. You're a smart cookie, that one was hard. AMD has brought the Nitero engineering team on as part of the acquisition, but the company says they're not looking to make their own wireless headset. They just want to foster development of devices like that in the market. And the way to do that is to take the company that's making them off the market. And some piping hot, popping fresh rumors about Intel's rumored X299 platform are here. Good old sketchy leak site benchlife.info claims that Intel has moved up the launch of the platform, codenamed Basin Falls, from August to June. The X299 platform will reportedly use the LGA2066 socket and will accommodate both the Skylake X and KB Lake X series of CPUs. Benchlife sources claim the launch date adjustment was made in reaction to reports of AMD's own high-end desktop platform, X399. And we've gone over how that naming scheme is kind of silly before here, but I think it bears repeating, it is silly. It's time for... Quick bits. Okay, what? Apparently I haven't used that one yet, but I remember seeing it when you first sent it in November, apparently. So, sorry, Crunkle McDunkle. I love it. If the rest of you want to send me a quick bits, hashtag quick bits me on Tweetsies. For those of you worried about Google using your data to train world-ending AI, don't worry because Google is still doing that, but it can also do it locally on your phone instead of sending your data to the cloud where it can be hacked and ogled and who knows what else. You do have to be using the Gboard app for that to work, though. So. Those crazy Japanese scientists, they've gone and launched a plan to drill through the ocean to reach Earth's mantle. When I read this, I thought they'd be drilling down themselves in like a ship, but really they're just sending down a long drill from a boat. Looks like the boat has a helipad though, so that's cool. Overwatch director Jeff Kaplan said in his Reddit AMA that porting the game to the Nintendo Switch would be very challenging, but he's open-minded about it, and that's good. But it's probably not happening. What is happening in Overwatch is a brand new player versus environment mode called Overwatch Insurrection. The French version of the trailer was leaked today, teasing the event's launch tomorrow, April 11th. So by the time most of you have seen this, it will probably already be up. So go play it because it's got limited time skins and whatnot, only available until the first. And Cadillac has announced its answer to Tesla's semi-autonomous driving tech called Super Cruise will be featured in the 2018 CT6 sedan when it launches this fall. It'll let you drive hands-free on the highway, but it'll flash lights at you and stuff if you look away. So is it really worth it? Should probably just go with a Corolla or something. Does the job. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. <laughs> Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? <laughs> I thought not. <laughs> It's not a story the Jedi would tell. That's my impression of Palpatine. It's pretty good, right? Thanks for the tweet, Jason. Got something you want us to say? Hashtag NCXO dog, dog. Guys, it's coming. NCIX's 21st anniversary. And to celebrate, we're having another tech fair. If you've been to an NCIX tech fair before, you know it's chock full of the latest tech. From drones, to VR, to high-end PC gaming rigs, to swag bags full of lanyards and pens. You know the stuff. 
Okay, but seriously, this year we're having it at Lansdowne Center, Saturday, April 29th, and Sunday, April 30th, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're giving away prizes every hour. We've got Asus, Intel, AMD, Samsung, and NVIDIA as our main sponsors. The YouTube crew is gonna be there hanging out. You can come say hi, play some VR, enter to win stuff. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Look how excited Jack looks for it. He's bursting. <laughs> so click the I in the corner or the link in the description for all the details, guys. It's gonna be lit, fam. All right, guys. Well, that's it for Net Link Daily. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. As always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for fans with benefits to enter that and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX, from this channel. And you know, that's just this is some good advice normally, just 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 to do normally. So maybe you should try and try and check that out a long time. Maybe you know you never know what could happen.